Hi everybody, in this video we talk about the TCL27G64, we made a first impressions review, you can check it out. But this particular one is all about response time. Now first of all, for those who don't understand, uh, response time in displays refer to how quickly a pixel can change from one call to the other. A faster uh, response time helps reduce motion blur and ghosting in fast moving images. Uh, GTG or great is then ba basically for gray to gray. And this is basically um, uh, a, a common measurement for response time. It specifically measures the time it takes for a pixel to transition from one shade of gray to another, which is considered a more realistic representation of pixel changes in real world content like video games. So this is kind of a general spec as you can see here and, it, and it's mentioned, it's uh, when you look at the fastest uh, gray to gray response time, uh, it's one millisecond. Now TCL didn't provide any other measurements for the other options, which is normal and fast. So we have normal, fast, and fastest. Fastest, we know well, is the, is the fastest, which is one millisecond. Uh, unless a person decides to use a certain device to measure it uh, properly, we don't know the numbers, neither do I. What, what I can do is actually check if I can actually see blurring, ghosting in images. So what you see here is me capturing with my phone a, a moving images from test UFO. Now regarding black smearing, fast is the best because it doesn't provide, for me at least, for my eyes, can see anything when it comes to black smearing. But regarding uh, uh, blurring, so here you can see here, very, very little in fast uh, when we see the fast moving object. And even then, of course, it's when you see it on the sign at the top is clearer, but you're gonna see ghosting. But when I play, whether I notice it, uh, no, none. I'm gonna play Battlefield, for example, with lots of things moving quite fast, uh, explosion, all this stuff flying around, I, I didn't notice. So again, there is, but relatively little. You can, of course, just pause the video at any moment to take a you know better look at how it looks. So if you ask me if I see something that kind of annoys me to my eye when I play games, uh, nothing, it just looks good. When I change to fastest, uh, this is where I actually, I, I don't prefer to use it. It's gonna create kind of a replica it behind kind of semi-transparent version of it, something kind of artifact. If you know the reason for that, by the way, let me know in the comment section below. I'm not an expert, just a gamer. Uh, but this is, again, it also produces black smearing and very not noticeable one. So this is, uh, especially when, I, for example, use it in, with the UI, uh, Windows, but also in games, I wouldn't use fastest. Although, again, this is the one millisecond, the fastest one, I won't be using it. For me, it's just not usable. So although they offer a fast result, it's not really viable for me at all. Whether, for example, with fast, I don't even see black smearing. It's just, when I play games, it's just great, really amazing. Uh, if you go to normal, of course, uh, you're going to see more uh, prominent uh, smearing. Although when I play games, for example, Battlefield 6, uh, I didn't notice uh, any issues with it. But, of course, this can be issue for maybe certain games where you have very fast moving objects. Uh, this is 960 pixels per second. Of course, if you move the images faster than that, you're going to be more visible. The faster they move, the more prominent the ghosting will be. Again, you can actually pause the video at any time to actually see it uh, clearly. Now, if I'm going to change it even faster, like for example, uh, 1920 uh, pixels per second, uh, it's going to be much more prominent, of course. But again, for games, uh, the, the chance that you're going to see something that moves that fast, it really just can cover uh, the entire screen so fast uh, is less likely in games. But if you pause it right now, you can actually see that uh, it's much more severe, the ghost thing. But many times I'm playing single player game that every, every, everything there is not even close to be as fast. And even in fast games that I play is uh, Rocket League, uh, you know, the Battlefield with certain situation with the explosion and stuff, uh, it's actually look really good. I'm sure eventually somebody will post the numbers, but uh, I just judge it based on, you know, how it is in real life eventually. I mean, whether it's worth it, what I'm going to choose, uh, the setting that is works well for me, is it enough? Is it good enough? In real world, games that I play, whether it's going to be an issue, whether it was an issue with the games that I play, well, if you put it on fast, black smearing, ghosting, uh, in many of the games that I play, and I play a variety of games, as you know, not an issue. Actually, not just not an issue, very good results. And what you get in return, uh, first of all, uh, again, no black smearing on fast. I mean, not something that I can notice, even in the UI, uh, when I scroll and everything, where it's very noticeable in fastest. 
the blacks now the 180 zones it was actually that led to something that bad compared to for example the one day my xiaomi where i actually noticed lots of hollows here you barely notice hollows i think only in hdr when they actually just put lots of black screen then you're going to notice it but in general there's no hollows issue with this i don't know what they did here uh except of course for this the fact there's only 180 zones it's really minimized so this is great because I just hated it on my uh, IPS, um, my, my Xiaomi IPS uh, display that had that uh, 1150 something uh, zones. It was so distracting for me, let alone I couldn't work with the windows. Yeah, I need to turn it off. Here, I don't need to turn anything off. I just leave it on fast and that's it. Thank you. I can do whatever I like. It's the main screen. It works great in games. It, it works great on windows. When I scroll, when I do everything, video editing, all this stuff just work, works great. Also, the colors are excellent. I really love them. It's 8 point, uh, plus 2, by the way, 8-bit uh, plus 2. But I checked it with gradients. It just looks incredible. By the way, on normal, on the default one, which is the most extended, I think, gamut, gradient looks very sharp. But uh, you're going to play, of course, with sRGB, which is also calibrated. You get actually a, a page. We show the calibration for the monitor for your specific uh, uh, screen. You also write the serial number. This is also a made finish. You can see it in daylight. And actually, I turned open. It was actually noon uh, with the window full open. And I can actually see what I'm playing. I actually thought this was going to be bad. It was actually good. I was surprised. I can actually see very clearly things. The IPS, by the way, is on the right. So it has 600 nits, I think, for HDR is a maximum brightness. But it works very well for SDR as well. It looks really good in a bright room. Regarding HDR, of course, because of the less zones, when you have lots of blacks, it won't be great, but most of the time you won't have it. But the colors are absolutely spectacular. I mean, I didn't expect HDR to look good on this screen, but the colors are so lively that everything just looks so realistic. And this means that it works well in most part. I don't expect to be, you know, the best, of course, but it works really well. So you can see it here, for example, right? With dots, dots, dots. So it creates kind of more lit areas that cover the screen rather than having areas that are not uh, lit, you know? So this, uh, but this is something that you won't see in actual use when you're playing games. So what I'm trying to tell you, there's some issues you can actually see, but the question is in real life, in real usage, whether it's going to be a problem. So what I'm trying to say um, is that the pros definitely outweigh the cons here for my use case. Whether I wanted to have, for example, one millisecond to perform well in games, yeah, but it doesn't. But whether the fast is good enough, it is for my use case. Here I'm playing, for example, Battlefield. It's just incredible. So yeah, so overall, we, when it comes to response time, uh, there is ghosting, of course. Fast of Kid, I, I think, works very well. I think will work very well for most people uh, if you kind of are playing different games. I'm competitive again. I'm not really qualified to answer, uh, but I noticed no ghosting and many games that I play, and I play many, many games, no black smearing, not even in the UI when I play, uh, again, when I play, I'm saying when UI, when I use Windows, and really beautiful colors, high contrast, really good blacks, and overall satisfied, especially for the price. Thanks for watching.